Hello Mustang lovers, Captain Burt here with a preview of a very special offering from the Atlantis Motor Group in Boca Raton, Florida. To say this is a one-off car would be an understatement. And we know you guys watching this video are a pretty unique crowd to say the least. So we figure you're going to love this 1965 Mustang GT350 Resto Mod with over $200,000 invested in this build. The result of this kind of investment and attention to detail is a car that is absolutely spot on in every regard. It's a ground up build on an original 65 Mustang. This brand new light -like car has only 1,545 miles on the meter. It's a one of a kind because to quote from the March 21st, 2014 article on the car in Hot Rod Magazine, it was built by a guy named Jim Beatty. He's a Ford fanatic with an obsession for getting things right. He built this from a super straight, rust-free car with all original body panels that spent its entire life in the desert up to now where it's kept the simple and functional look and feel of a classic Trans Am muscle car that performs very well at the track. Here's the basic specs, but this car has way too many special touches to do it justice here. So please contact us at our number below for a full list of the specs. The heart of this beast is a 347 cubic inch Ford Racing Windsor small block that puts out 535 horses at 6700 RPMs and 480 foot-pounds of torque at 5600 RPMs. The internals are top quality and way too numerous to mention here, but we'll give you a few. Cylinder heads are Edelbrock Victor Jr. The cam is a Crower with solid rollers and crane lifters. Intake manifold is Edelbrock Victor Jr with an MSD distributor. The custom exhaust headers flow into dual two and a half inch spin tech mufflers and you can see the specs for the details on the top of the line cooling system that keeps this baby's temperature down. The drivetrain transmits the 535 horses through a Tremec TK0600 transmission, a Ford racing flywheel, and McLeod twin disc clutch to the rear axle that has a shortened Dutchman nine inch rear end with 31 spline axles, 389 to 1 gears, and a limited slip differential. Front suspension is total control products, control arms and sway bar, and very shock coilovers. The rear suspension, total control four link and sway bar, and very shock coilovers. Brakes are Willwood front, 13 inch rotors, 6 piston calipers, and rears with 12 inch rotors and 4 piston calipers. This beauty rolls on vintage wheel works, 45 series, fronts and rears, with Falcon tires 215-45R17 and 275-40R17. To quote from the article again, Jim knows Ford's inside and out. And carrying over the lessons learned from one project into the next sharpens his ability to focus on building the ultimate blue oval muscle car, Trends be damned. It's a back to basics, Trans Am inspired machine built for road racing. And in an ocean of million dollar pro touring rides, it makes a powerful statement and stands out in an exceptional way. And the beauty of this beast, should you desire to exercise your options, is that you've got track day performance, car show craftsmanship, and round town and weekend fun in one unique, fantastic automobile. So before we sign off, think of it this way. In five years, we'll be facing an electric car tsunami. If we cop out and go electric, either we're going to have to pipe V8 noise into the cockpit to keep our sanity, or we could be driving an investment like this car with a possible value north of $300,000. And talk about bragging rights. When you show up at the track with this machine, you might be the only guy who can say, yeah, it's built, not bought. For more info, call us at 800-935-9590 or email us at rw at atlantismotorgroup.com. That's Romeo Whiskey at A-T-L-A-N-T-I-S motorgroup.com. So follow us on Instagram at Atlantis Motor Group, and go make it a great day and see what happens. Captain Bird out.